Shalom, brothers and sisters. It's your brother Yahweh Saba. I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. Peace, salutation to the hopeful elect scattered abroad across the four corners of the earth, learning or waiting on the second coming of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, learning or teaching this truth in, in truth and sincerity. Shalom. You, you know, uh, to, you know, uh, we out here in the last days, man, you know, waiting on the second coming of, of Yahweh Shai. And it's like, yeah, out here, I'm out here downtown right by the Sto uh, waterfront hotel, right by the uh, baseball stadium, Stockton Ports, you know, pre preaching, preaching the uh, wicked downfall of this kingdom, man. Yahweh Radazov, this wicked kingdom, preaching the downfall, you know, wait, waiting on Yahweh Shai patiently, you know. And God, you know, this is the first day that that Fed now coming out. We know that that's not the uh, true CBDC, but it's a test run onto it. And then it's all going to lead to the CBDC. And then it's going to come to the mark of the beast. And, you know, that's what that's what they're going to have you do is worship that image. And, if, and then they're going to put that uh, mark of the beast on you. You know, just like it says in Revelation 13. We know if any man have wisdom, the number is 666. Because we know that it's tied with that number. And we see that number a lot all around. 666, man. And that's why we have the wisdom and understanding to know the, these signs in, in, in these times. That's why we measure the time diligently. Waiting on Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. You know? I want to start it off with this, uh, the book of Colossians. You know, because you got to be rooted, rooted up, man. It's the book of Colossians chapter 2. It says you are built up in a Hamashiach on the blue letter. Because, yeah, we are built up in a Hamashiach. You know, we're walking as he ought to walk. We followed, we followed his red letter and we follow the foundation. You know? Come on. We follow the apostles' doctrine as well is, is what it is known as. You know, the rock. Yahweh Shah is the rock. And a lot of men are stumbling on the rock. Nope. Stumbling at the stumbling stone, you know, roughly paraphrasing. This is a Colossians chapter 2 and verse 1. For I knew that ye knew what great conflict I have for you, and for them that laid the sea. So, lucky if I said that wrong. And as, so lucky, and for as many as have not seen my f face in the flesh, that their hearts might be comforted. comforted being knit together in love and unto all riches of the full assurance of understanding and so I get to the acknowledgement of the mystery of Yahweh and of the Father and of Hamashiach. So yeah, because yeah, we want to be uh, in this love of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. You know, that's how we get this understanding and, and acknowledgement of the mysteries of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Like how it says that. Uh, Yahweh Shai said the, uh, the the mysteries of the kingdom wasn't given to them. And yeah, because it wasn't, you know. And Paul Paul understood this because he was a follower of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. You know, so this is verse 3. In whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. And I say, lest any man should beguile you with enticing words. Yeah, because a man can, can be be beguile you, which is going into deceiving you with enticing words but you know he's giving you those persuading words and you know that, that that's why we got to watch out in these last days because you could be led astray by, by being deceived by somebody that's not truly following Hamashiach Yahweh Shai you know God verse 5 for though I be absent in the flesh yet I am with you in the spirit joining and beholding your order and the steadfastness of your faith in Hamashiach so yeah, Khan, you know, uh, he's with us through the Holy Ghost because he's not, Paul's not with us in the flesh right now. You know, just like how Hamashiach Yahweh Shai is with us through the Holy Spirit, you know? Khan, because he said, I give, you the, I give you the Holy Ghost, that comforter, you know? Peace I leave with you. Peace I leave unto you, roughly paraphrasing, you know? Because we know uh, he, he, Paul's far away from us, but he's still with us, you know? Because he, he sees everything through the angels, you know, so so he knows everything that's going on, you know, so, so we got to we gotta, uh, stay 
uh, living strong in, in Hamashiach, you know? Because we're living as we should, because we're following Hamashiach, Yahushai, you know? Because our faith is, is strong in Hamashiach, it's strong. And we're not going to let nobody move it. It's going to be steadfast, man. You know? Come. Huh. Verse 6. And ye have therefore received a Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, the Lord, so walk ye in him. Yeah, walk ye in him. Because we're, cause we're, you know, we have received a Mashiach, you know, by following his word, getting baptized in water in the name of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, for remission of sins and following his, his doctrine, you know? As, as he said, this is not the doctrine of mine, it's of my Father that sent me, you know? Come So we have to stay in it. And stay, we gotta stay rooted in it. Unless you wanna be a, a, a sea on the wayside, you know? So, uh, yeah, Khan, because we got to, like I said, we got to ought to walk as he walked, right? And, you know, like, uh, also, like like it says, put on put on uh, the Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. And that's what we need to do. We need to put on that armor of righteousness, you know? We got to, so we don't have any iniquity on our garment, you know, like I brought out in that Revelation 16. You know, behold, I come as a thief. We, we, we want to have no iniquity on our garment, so we got to put on that armor of righteousness. We got to stay in this word and stay in this uh, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. If not, you, you know that you're going to fall fall out and your faith's not strong, like what I was just getting into. Because if your faith isn't strong in the end, in, at the end of the day, how are you going to endure to the end that you shall be saved? How, how are you going to get through Jacob's trouble? You're going to fold, you know? So, so that's why... We want to stay rooted in this truth and showing that love like I brought out in this precept uh, higher above, you know, when I was reading upward, you know, because we got to stay in that love, you know, like uh, knit together in love in that verse too, because if we're not in that love with our brethren, you're going to fold. You know, the power could go out anytime, like how it said that cyber attack, and that's the EMP, bro. That's going to be the lights out. And then that, that's when we know, after that, that's when they're going to implement this MO to the T to the B, man. You know? So we got to stay rooted in this, man. Come And that's, that's the spirit, because that's the next verse. Verse 7. Rooted and built up in him, established in the faith, as he have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. So you can That's what we want to be, a rooted and built up in the faith, man. You know, because we, we got to let our roots grow. You know, let me get it in the NLT. Let your roots grow down into him. Let your lives be built on him. Then your faith will grow strong in the truth you were, you were taught. And you will overflow with thankfulness. So that's how we're going to be overflowing with thankfulness. Thanking you how about Shimei was shy, even for another day to be alive. Because tomorrow's never promised, you know. That's why scriptures say, roughly paraphrasing, tarry not to turn to the Lord, you know? Because we, we know vengeance is His, you know? I, was, I just broke down that Isaiah 63, man, in my last lesson. And yeah, vengeance is of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's. Because that's what He said in that chapter as well. You know, there's plenty of other precepts that tell you vengeance is His, right? You know, like Isaiah 34 as well, you know? But hey, recompense is what's coming unto, unto these people that don't want to come back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and listen to him. You know, two thirds of our people are not going to make it because they didn't want to come back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So yeah, that's why we got to be uh, built on him. We got to be uh, rooted up and built of him, you know, established in the faith. Because if you're not established in the faith, you're going to fall short, you know. That's, that's, that's what we've been taught, like this precept says, man. We're just speaking what we've been taught through through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that we learned from our elders, man. You know, shout out to the brothers in Houston, man, for for, for uh, bringing this true gospel to, to the to the uh, people out here in Babylon the Great. And we're just we're just spreading the word through the four corners of the earth, man. That's all we could do, and that's when we know the end shall come, as the scriptures say. You know. 
God. Let me get that verse 8. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the traditions of men, after the rudiments of the world, not after Hamashiach. Yeah, because like I said, I made that lesson, right? Love not the world, you know? That's what a lot of people are in the rudiments uh, of the world. You know, they're still doing things of the world, you know? Like an example, preaching uh, at nighttime, man. You know? <coughs> it's like preaching at a club, you know? It's things like that, it's of the world. Yeah, like I, I get what you're saying, you know, like you start off, you start off preaching and it may be nighttime because because you started off in the day and it's nighttime. Yeah, that's fine. Finish your lesson, but don't start the lesson at nighttime, you know, because we we don't we don't see that, bro. That, that we only see that for people that are of this world, man. Where they do that at, you know, hey, hey, your how about you to expose the darkness, man, for anything that shall be uh, hid shall be revealed. Yeah, I wish I said that. Yeah, and that's that's why you don't you want to uh, gotta uh, take heed, you know, cause cause you don't want to be uh, get get caught in this uh, these philosophies of that wine, you know, cause that's what you're doing if you're following a man. You know, you're getting caught in, in the philosophies, you know, cause cause uh, they're not after Hamashiach, man. That's 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 that wine, man. That that that, that uh, philosophies that people are. are uh, following you know like like uh what's coming up man this uh fourth of july right we know that's pagan you know you know yeah it can't because that, that goes back to the egyptians what they're doing so con this let's get into uh i want to get into now uh the habakkuk chapter two Yeah, we gotta stay, uh, stay strong in the faith. This is all about faith. You know, if, if you don't have faith, you, you're gonna fold. Like I was saying, you're like that's why I was trying to say when I come, will there be faith on the earth? You know, that's why he's also saying, like in my last lesson on the blog, oh ye yeah, have little faith, right? You know, because this is all about faith. Let me. Uh, this is spirit. I'm on this one. I'm gonna just get this real quick. This is Haggai, chapter 1 and verse 6. He have sown much and bring in little. Yeah, that's what we do. We sown in much, but we bring in little, right? Because we're in captivity. You know? God, I'm going to continue on. Ye eat, but ye, ye have not enough. Yeah, because we're afflicted, right? So, so we eat, but we don't have enough. You know, we're going through these trials and tribulations, man. And, and, and our people are poor and afflicted. This gospel's for the poor, you know? Like Yahweh Shai said, you know, preach to the poor, you know, roughly paraphrasing. God, you are not filled with drink. So like, so like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ye, ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Yeah, ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. It's just going more into it. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. He had earned wages earneth wages to put it in a bag with holes yeah so we're so we're so we're uh, sowing all this but we're not reaping it back you know just like just like at, at my at this other job that i just had to let go man you know uh it was a uop the college they they weren't paying me what i was worth man so i'm i'm not i'm not getting what i'm what i'm uh sowing you know it's it's and just bags with holes, man. You know, because Esau, his monetary system, it, you're bringing in money, you're, it's getting deposited, but it's not really its true value. All this money, yeah, and when they bring that system in that CBDC, your, your bank accounts are gonna be ceased because it's all gonna go to that system. So your, your, your bank account is gonna go. All that money is gonna evaporate. You know, just like in that uh, le video of the, of the uh, the guy that I put on my page talking about CBDC, man. All your money's just gonna go gone if you don't go to their system. That's why, yeah, con. That's why it's getting into like you're not gonna be uh, of this of this world, man. 
yeah, going into that uh, killed, you know, killed from society. That's that's what it, what it's what it's going into as well, you know. But that yeah, that's in a. Uh, Yeah, yeah, that's that's going into that revelation. Let me see real quick. Yeah, yeah, it's going into that revelation thirteen. You know, yeah, that if any would not worship the beast, should be killed. You know, because because yeah, you'll be killed, will be beheaded for your house shot for not taking it right, but also. You know, if you go into that blue letter on it, which I'll, I'll get it real quick, it tells you that you'll be you'll be killed from society. You know. This is why you gotta use the blue letter, bro. You know, people are telling you you don't have to use the blue letter are against some Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shai and our anti Hamashiachs. You know, we know there's a lot of anti Hamashiachs in this world, man. You know. So yeah, I'm gonna read the verse. It says, and he had give power life unto the image of the beast. So so uh so when you go into that uh that uh G615 at the bottom, you know, right, right next to the killed, you go into the root, and it says of separation, of local separation, you know, departing of fleeing. And yeah, because that's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to depart from this society for not taking that M to O to the T to the B. You know, we're gonna be as pilgrims on earth. Like I said, they're gonna wipe out your bank account for not taking it. So yeah, like I said with that, with that, you know, like we, we, we gotta uh, stay rooted in, in this faith because uh, if not, you're gonna uh, fold and take that chip and you're gonna be, you're gonna be a, uh, follow the image of the beast as well, you know? So yeah, like I said with that Haggai, chapter 1 and verse 6, you know, you drink, but you are still thirsty, you know, because you're still, you're still thirsty because this is, that's how uh, it is according to this, these curses, man, you know, and, and this is how we're treated in this captivity with the poor and afflicted, like I was saying, this is all part of the, the curses, you know, we eat, but, but we're not satisfied, you know, because, uh, that's what I, I was getting at, you know. Like, like the wages we make, they're, they're uh, goes in the pockets with holes. So we're not really earning wages, like I was saying, because this monetary system is all fraudulent. Esau system, it's it's all it's all going to that uh, central bank digital currency, and uh, people are gonna have to be forced to 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 take that M um, MOT to the B, you know. So God. Get, I want to get this one. This is Malachi chapter 1 and verse 14. But cursed be the deceiver which hath in his flock a male and voweth and sacrifice unto the Lord a corrupt thing. For I am a great king, saith the Lord of hosts, and my name is dreadful among the heathen. So yeah, Yahweh Bashimi Shai's name is dreadful among the heathen. You know? God, I mean, cursed be the deceiver. We know who the deceiver is. You know, it's it's uh, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. You know, El Diablo means deceiver. You know, God. That's why it says, "Cursed be the deceiver." He, his sacrifice was a corrupt thing. And we know who did that as well. Cain. Those philosophies, man. God. Yeah, yeah, so let's get that uh, Habakkuk. Bear with me. Yeah, I'm trying to find it real quick. Bear with me. Yeah, 
Yeah, cause like I sometimes that habit could man it be hiding. You know. Get it right now. Bear with me. So I, yeah, we, you got, you got to uh, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, right? Because the Yahweh Shimon Shai is 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 the way, the truth, and the life, and that, that's why we got to stay in, in in the truth. Worship Him with in spirit and in truth. You know, we can't have any guile on us. Like I went over in my lesson in Isaiah chapter sixty-three too. You know, lie not to one another that ye have put on the new man. A lot of our people haven't put on that new man. Yeah, so I found the chapter, you know, so I'll praise the Abba Shimei Shai, you know. We'll come. This is a Habakkuk chapter 2. We we'll start from the top. I will stand upon my watch and set upon, upon the tower, and I will watch to see what he will say unto me, and I shall answer when I am reproved. Yeah, that's what that's what we're at. We're watchmen for that for the house of Israel, right? We're we're standing upon our watch. You know? We're measuring the time di diligently uh, staying uh, staying occupied in prophecies, you know, waiting on these last days. That MOT to the B is a is a prophecy by John the Revelator. And soon people won't be able to talk about it because there's gonna be a famine of, of food and also of the word. So people need to uh, repent and take heed for the, like I said, for Yahweh Shai said, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, you know? God, Yahweh Shai, he didn't start his ministry and go preach until after he got in that water. And that's what we need to do as well. Get in that water, you know? There's a time and place for everything. So everything happens all according to time and a place. That's why we got to be patient and wait on this prophecy as well, you know? So yeah, yeah, like like in the ancient times, the watchmen would would stand upon a tower, you know, to, to, to see when that when that when that war was happening coming, you know, or, or just, you know just watching regardless. So that's what we got to do is be be watchmen, you know, sitting on upon that uh, tower, you know. Let me get this precept in the Book of Proverbs. The book of Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10. The name of Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. So yeah, yeah, Yahweh is the true names of the Father and the Son, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. You know, like I said in my last lesson, you know, in Exodus chapter 23, he says, I'll bring an angel before you and, and, and my name shall be in him. So yeah, yeah, that's how you know Yahweh is inside of Yahweh Shai. His name is in him. The names are connected, you know, and, and and that was the ancient Paleo Hebrew. That's what our forefathers were speaking: Ab Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Yahweh Shai, who, who, who the people ignorantly call him the Jesus Christ. But, but we know that his true name is Yahweh Shai because he, he is black as well. He's, he's not. He doesn't look like this. He's really black. Yahweh Shai. Black. I always wasn't worried about what the what the Messiah looked like. That's what he does. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, Revelation 1:14 it, it, it lets us know what he looks like. You know, the Messiah with the wool hair. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, that's continue your speech, bro. I'm all right, that's good. That's good. So yeah, like I said. You know, Yahweh's, Yahweh's name is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. So we know what a strong tower is. It's something that was strong, a strong tower. You're going to be saved through, through, through that uh, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because you're going to be under that strong tower through him. Shield, yeah. force field. Yep, yeah, you have that shield. Yeah, so if, if, you're, if you're under that, through the, knowing the true names, because those are powerful names, he's coming to save his elect, the uh, 144,000, and also a great multitude, a number that we don't know of that we can't either count. He, he's coming uh, with his chariots, with his angels. You know, and that's, if you don't, if you don't know the name, you're not gonna be saved. You know, Acts 4 and 12, well also you gotta follow his, his water baptism in the name Yahweh Shai as well, is too, because we know Yahweh Shai got in that water as well. 
but it acts uh, 4 and 12 it says by no other name where shall we must be saved so it, under heaven so and that that's the name that's solidified with the heavens 